Friends, I have a hard time being really, really feeling bad because Larry brought so many good thoughts to me and so many good things to me through the years. Um, as a kid, I grew up next to Larry. So Larry moved in as I was a young, young man in formative years. And I had a father, but Larry was the next door neighbor. And he was an older guy who I could talk to that really always had an interesting thing that I, I wanted to listen to him. I would come home from work and he would be out there on the deck and Gene would be out there on the deck and they'd say, come on over and have a beer. So I'd go over and it wasn't just a beer, it was always a nice frosty cold beer. <laughs> and we would have some great conversations that would last an hour until, until dinner time. But that was Larry. Susanna mentioned that Larry was the person who, when she got involved with the family, that he was, he was the guy that would try to make everybody comfortable. You know, my mom's that way. My, yeah. My aunts and uncles are, are, are that way, but Larry, Larry's like, you know, the word, the word is comfort food. He was, he was the guy who tried to make people feel comfortable, and that's what he always did for me. He also, as I, I consider him a mentor, because in those years, I was just sort of figuring out what I was going to do with my life. I, I, you know, as a young man, you don't, you're not always sure what you want to do, and you're not sure. There are a lot of things that you need. You need somebody there that's that's smart, worldly, wise. And Larry was that person. Yeah, my father was there, but he was my dad. Larry was Larry. It was always <laughs> fun to be around Larry, you know? And you could ask, I could ask Larry anything. And if I nicked myself shaving and I went over there and talked to Larry, they'd say, oh, you got to do this or that. What are you doing? And if I tied my tie, if I went over, over there, he'd say, here, let me help you. I'll let me show you how to fix that stuff. So, and he was my friend. So, of course, I listened to him. And I'm a better person because of it. I took a trip to Texas with him and had a great time and and actually when he was this, this trip was going we were taking an old pontiac firebird it was old it was old even at that time had a dent in it where larry was playing softball and he parked it at the wrong place and a foul ball came over and hit the top of that car and dented it but no big deal anyways we took a trip to texas and and at, for me they said well you know larry's going to texas i was really you need somebody to go with him and they're like, yeah, that'd be great. And I, Larry was like, sure, we want to ride along. I was like, yeah, all right, a trip to Texas. And if I was with Larry, you know, I could say like, Larry, you want me to put a little money in the gas tank? Larry, like, no. So I didn't even ask. Larry, you want me to pay for this meal? No. I, it was never like that. Larry always took care of me. He was like, he was like my dad when we went on a trip like that. But we had so much fun together. You know, spending a car ride like that, you spend a lot of time just talking and enjoying each other's company. And I know a lot of people say, I'd rather fly, I'd rather drive. And I'd much rather drive with Larry, because it was fun. So, you know, when I think of Larry, I think of him as comfort food. I think of him as a great athlete. I mean, he played softball for years and years and years. And I think of him, as Donnie said, as a positive influence in everybody's life. He was an absolute positive influence in my life. I am the man that I am today, much like Donnie said, because of my friend Larry Dunaway. I have a hard time looking at Larry and not seeing a smile on his face. He always had a smile on his face. He was always happy to see you. He always made you feel comfortable. And maybe that's the down-home upbringing he had. You know, I went to the farm, your, your farm, and, and you look at some of these hollers and where people grew up in these little log cabins, and maybe that's what, what instilled some of this stuff into him. But... Larry chose, he made choices that were the right choices. I mean, joining the Masonic Lodge in the 60s and doing different things. <coughs> he recognized the good in people. He, saw, he always saw the good in people. He didn't go out and look for the bad, he looked for the good. And that's what we all need to do. And that's what I try to do. And it's because of Larry. He was such a positive influence in my life and I think in all of our lives. So thanks for letting me come up and talk for just a minute about my friend Larry. You know, what a great man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Victor. Thank, Thank you. you.